Hi everybody, welcome to the demo of my new PyVision custom symbol named the Multiple Manual Input. This custom symbol allows you to input new values to several data sources at a time. The data sources can be PyAF attributes and Py tags as well. Before diving into the configuration options, let's take a quick overview of the symbol. The multiple manual input looks like a table. Each row represents a single data source. Sinusoid is a numeric Py tag with no unit. I select it, then I enter a new value into the dedicated text box. CDT155 is also a core Py tag. The next one is a Py tag linked to a digital set. The custom symbol automatically loads the list of states allowed for this tag. I choose a new value from the drop-down list. The next ones are all PyAF attributes. All my custom symbols are compatible with the asset switching feature. Power is a numeric attribute, so I enter a number as new value. The next one is a Boolean attribute. Its values can be true or false. The last one is a PayAF enumeration. Similarly to digital states and Booleans, the custom symbol shows a list of available values. To finish, I just click on the Send Values button. The green banner indicates that everything went well. A few seconds later, all values are updated as expected. To build this kind of table with multiple data sources, it's very simple. Like other symbols, you just have to select the symbols icon, then drag and drop the data source into the PyVision display. We will see later how to manage those data sources from the configuration panel. This custom symbol provides several types of user messages. First of all, if you try to click on the Send Values button with no row selected, the symbol raises an information message that invites you to select at least one data source. So, let's push a new value for the three pay AF attributes. When there are several rows selected, the success message indicates the number of new values that have been pushed. When there is only one row selected, the success message indicates the value and its corresponding timestamp. This custom symbol also raises significant error messages that help the user understand the origin of the issue. In this table, the second data source requires new values to be numbers. If the user enters the text, the custom symbol raises an error and the input field shows the text in red that corresponds to the HTTP error code sent by the PyWeb API. Additional information about the error is displayed in the PyVision messages. Here, the value is incompatible with target. This error will be raised each time the new value doesn't fit to the data source. Here I have a PyAF attribute that is linked to a Py point of type byte, meaning it only allows small integer values. If I try to push a very large integer, the same error bad request is raised. Now let's see another example of error message. Maintenance scheduled is a Boolean attribute. Pushing new values to this attribute raises a method not allowed error. This is absolutely normal because this attribute is mapped to a table lookup data reference. So, PyWeb API won't let me push a new value. Now, I'm going to change the PyWeb API configuration 
in order to prevent new values to be pushed. The tag sinusoid is still ready to accept new values. But if I disable the right functionality directly from the system configuration and try to push another new value, Now, an error of type forbidden is raised. Configuring timestamps for new values in this custom symbol is very straightforward because it allows you to enter Aviva time expressions such as now that is represented by an asterisk. You can edit the default timestamp and add minus 1D that represents 24 hours ago from now. The button Apply to All makes it easier to set the same timestamp for all lines. When the time expression is not correct, a red border and an error icon appear. You can type MON for Monday that stands for midnight on the last Monday before today, Q for Tuesday, Jan for January, Deck for December, and so on. In the description of this video, you will find a link to the official Aveva documentation about the Pi time expression. Star minus 10 months is also an available expression. T plus 6 hours, that means today at 6 o'clock. You can also type plain data times with that in format day slash month slash year and time with hours, minutes and seconds. If one digit is missing in the date or if you made a typo, the custom symbol lets you know that something's wrong. Another example, Y minus 15H, that means 15 hours before the new year. The button next to the Apply to All button allows you to switch the editing timestamp mode. Instead of a text box, you will have a calendar from which you can select a date and a time. The Apply to All button also propagates the editing mode to all lines, but you can switch back to time expressions or calendars for every line individually. Now let's see how to customize the symbol from the configuration panel. Such as the native table symbol or the asset comparison table, you can choose one of the three styles available. Like any other multiple data source symbol, you can manage your list of data sources. That is to say, move one data source upward in the list or downward, move it to the top of the list or to the bottom of the list. or remove any useless data source from the list. Moreover, in this custom symbol, you can set the background color and the foreground color for each row of the table. Depending on your specific use case, this may help you separate items visually inside a single table. Configuring the default timestamp is a functionality that has been highly requested by my customers. By default, the new timestamp is set to current time, but you can change it to meet your requirements 
and choose between a time expression or a format string. For example, if you set the time expression to now minus one hour in the configuration panel, every time you open or refresh the PyVision display, the new timestamp field will be set to now minus one hour in the custom symbol. This may be really useful in order to deal with offsets and time zones. All time expressions are supported, for example, now minus two days. The format string option is also very powerful since it allows you to specify a string pattern that will be used as default timestamp. For example, you can set the seconds to zero so you will get the current time rounded to the last plain minute. If I refresh the display, I get 2 p.m. plus 24 minutes and zero seconds. The display isn't in real time mode, but if I click on the now button, you can see that it works as expected. Similarly, you can set the format string to today, but at a specific time set to 6 p.m. And it doesn't matter if it's in the past or in the future. You can show or hide the three columns which are dedicated to the current value, the timestamp of the current value, the current value itself, or the units of the data source. The send value button can be customized as well. You can display or not the text and the icon, and you can change the text, for example, go with an exclamation mark. For the icon, you can select between two predefined icons but you can also set the HTML icon of your choice. In the borders option group, you can specify the color and the weight of the symbol's border. To finish, if you have messed up your symbol configuration, the reset button will restore each option to its default value. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any question or feedback to share. And stay tuned to my channel for the next PyVision Custom Symbols I will publish and demonstrate on YouTube.